We're seeing two trends that are driving the developments in Europe right now, I think. One is from the investor side. We see a lot of money flowing in from the UK and the US. But another trend that maybe we don't talk enough about is what's happening with students. Um, students are becoming increasingly international. We're seeing international student numbers rise all over Europe. And that has created uh, yeah, a very exciting new dynamic in, in how people study, how people live, and also the way uh, cities and universities uh, try to market themselves to these universities. So we're seeing um, a, a very competitive, uh, a very co competitive market uh, emerging. Cities are competing for talent, are putting a, a competition for talent at the core of their economic agendas. We see universities increasingly becoming transparent. We have all the rankings uh, now available. Uh, students can book their programs online. They travel from Greece to Germany, from Finland to Spain, but also from outside of Europe into Europe. And those numbers are really, really big. And they have an incredible impact on the type of uh, product that students want uh, as a student house. We're seeing students uh, staying in places for a shorter amount of time, for instance doing their undergraduate in, in Lisbon and doing their graduate degree in Stockholm. That's definitely a trend, trend we're seeing. Those universities are connected, there are networks uh, kind of appearing, kind of a development that we've also seen in the, in the airline industry. People are, uh, universities are getting affiliated with each other, making exchange of knowledge and exchange of students more uh, easier, facilitate that. But at the same time, through the internet, it's so easy for students to just find any uh, study program. So for them, it's not that relevant what, what kind of uh, uh, affiliations there are between, uh, uh, between universities. But definitely something we're seeing a lot. Yeah.